What's up, addicts? All right, I wanted to make an interesting video. Now, there's been a debate that I've had and I've seen happen all across Twitter and uh, various different places over the past couple of years. And the debate goes something like this. Uh, Tom Brady is the greatest of all, of all time because he's won the most Super Bowls and everything that uh, the Patriots have in terms of success has to do with Tom Brady. Whereas the other side of the argument is no, Bill Belichick is the wisest coach of all time. He is shrewd. He knows how to manipulate systems, how to get the most out of players that aren't getting paid top value and is able to craft a roster of players that fall into his culture. And therefore that's why the Patriots are always such a good team, not because of Tom Brady. Tom Brady's a system quarterback that Bill Belichick just was able to perfectly craft a team around him. And I mean, if we're being honest, the truth is probably somewhere in the middle. Um, Brady, it's not like he's a bad quarterback by any means. He's uh, the most winningest quarterback of all time and will go down as the greatest of all time, at least and less some by some miracle we have someone else that comes along and surpasses him, but I doubt that happens. So uh, we, for the longest time, it was looking like we'd never actually have any real settlement to that argument, and we probably still won't. You know, just being honest, I'm not all that optimistic that Brady going to the Bucks at age 42, 43, um, and trying to you know have a twilight couple years with the Bucks before finally retiring. Um, last year we saw he had his lowest statistical output of any year in like recent history. And obviously a lot of that had to do with the lack of weapons in New England, but a lot of it too had to do with the fact that Brady is getting older and he's not able to, uh, he doesn't have the same deep ball accuracy that he used to. He has to get the ball out quickly to try to avoid getting hit. And I mean, some of those things have, have bled throughout his entire career, but they're even more evident now that he's a bit older. Uh, I would imagine that Bruce Arians is going to try to employ a similar system. He doesn't want his quarterback that they just paid 50 million bucks to uh to be getting hurt now so obviously they're gonna have to uh do their best they can to protect him but um we should at least be able to get some clarity on the other side that's what i'm really interested in is seeing what can bill belichick do now that he still has control of the team might take a year or two for him to try to rebuild a, a roster that doesn't that isn't crafted around having Tom Brady as the guy there, but can Bill Belichick actually remain relevant with the Patriots? And that is honestly gonna be the closest thing that we'll ever get to that age old debate between whether Tom Brady or Bill Belichick was the real reason for the Patriots success for all these years. Because if Bill Belichick can turn around and make a team that goes 11 and five, 12 and four, or, you know, even makes even makes it to the Super Bowl, let alone wins one without Tom Brady. Whether it's you know whoever they sign on the market right now, we've heard rumors of them talking with Andy Dalton. You could see them trade for Mitch Trubisky, which I think would both be mistakes. They could also go after guys like Cam Newton or Jameis Winston. I doubt they just roll into the season with Jared Stidham, but maybe that's what they end up doing. Maybe they trade up in the draft and draft a rookie. We don't really know at this point what the Patriots plans are uh, going into the 2020 season. And I wouldn't expect us to see anything, uh, anything in the ways of the success, at least this year. But over the course of the next couple of years, how does uh, Belichick, you know, how can he improve this team without Brady? And obviously, if Brady goes and wins the Super Bowl with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, then hands down, there's no argument anymore that, that uh, like, <laughs> there's literally no argument against Brady at that point. I don't think that's a plausibility at this point, uh, but we'll see what happens. But again, even if Brady goes 8-8 eight and eight for two seasons with the Buccaneers and retires, it doesn't really say much about his career because, again, he's 43. So no one's expecting him to perform like he did 13 years ago or even five years ago. Um, so the real kicker here is what happens with Belichick now that Brady's off the team. And then in the midst of all this, we got an interesting article and report that had come out uh, through Bleacher Report. I'll post the link in the description. But 
Um, something that was speculated on for a while, but we had never really gotten the full story. And it seems like now that Brady's leaving, things are finally like being leaked out and revealed. So a few years ago, when uh, the Patriots started the season with Brady, Garoppolo, and Jacoby Brissett on the Patriots roster, Bill Belichick had been scheming to use those quarter that quarterback depth to gain some uh, you know draft capital or just help with the roster. So we saw they traded Jacoby Brissett to the Colts early on in the season, and um, because he was putting out there that he was trying to trade that quarterback depth, you had the 49ers uh, clearly going after Jimmy Garoppolo that year. That was the year that they ended up trading for him. Uh, but what was actually reported was when uh, John Lynch reached out um, inquiring about trading for Garoppolo, Bill Belichick had actually countered the offer and said, well, how about Brady? So we're talking multiple years ago um, when Garoppolo was still a member of the Patriots. Bill Belichick was trying to trade Brady and keep Garoppolo as the quarterback. Now, again, this doesn't prove anything because maybe Bill Belichick is, uh, maybe his value has been inflated by his quarterback play for all this time. And we'll see how truly good he is now that Brady is gone. But clearly at that moment, he felt that it was in his team and his best interest to move on from a quarterback that was about to enter his 40s and stick with the young gun in Jimmy Garoppolo that they had drafted. And he felt that they were going to have far greater and longer success with him as their quarterback than they would with Tom Brady. Now, once Robert Kraft found out about this, Robert Kraft put an end to it. And then Bill Belichick turned around and traded Jimmy Garoppolo for pennies, which I, I still think that trade was made out of spite. We'll never fully know because Bill Belichick will probably never reveal all. Uh, because there's no reason that they shouldn't have been able to get more for him. But, um, and then supposedly from that point on, Tom Brady had always felt slighted and played with a chip on his shoulder. Obviously, we saw uh, like the rumor videos of the year that they played the Eagles uh, in the Super Bowl. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady didn't even like talk to each other on the sideline. Of course, all of this stuff is speculation. I don't think that Bill Belichick or Tom Brady would ever purposefully do anything to make the other person look bad. But clearly, ever since that moment, there was a bit of distrust and Brady was playing with a chip on his shoulder. And from that moment forward, the he started setting the stones in place for him to finally be able to move away from the Patriots and finish his career out on another team. So what we saw this week was a development over the course of time that was leading down this path. What we still don't know at this point is how does it actually impact this age-old discussion, right? So finally, possibly, possibly, have some clarity to that over the course of the next couple of years. But clearly, Bill Belichick believed more in himself than Brady if he was willing to move on from Brady. I mean, this was the year, like, they traded they traded uh, away Garoppolo in the year that they almost beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl, and then the next year they beat the Rams. So we're talking about, like, they were still a Super Bowl contending team, and he wanted to trade Brady in the middle of the season and keep Jimmy Garoppolo. So, and obviously Jimmy Garoppolo is good. I don't think anyone is trying to say that he's Brady, but Belichick believed in his system more than he believed in the player. And that's the argument that the Belichick people, myself included, have been making for years, is it's Bill Belichick's system that creates the success, not necessarily the play of the quarterback. Obviously, you need a good quarterback because if you throw Jarrett Stidham into that system, I don't think they're going to find any success. But really, the only the only factual and like data driven evidence we have for that is the one year that Bill uh, that uh, Tom Brady tore his ACL in uh, the early part of the season. I believe it was Week One playing against the Chiefs, and the Patriots still went 11 and five with Matt Castle. Didn't make the playoffs just because the AFC had a lot of high-performing teams that year, and the Dolphins ended up winning the division for the first time and only time in like the past 20 years. <laughs> but uh, we saw like if Bill Belichick can go 11 and five with Matt Castle, what does that say about Brady? But that was only one year, and things 
you know, you need multiple data points to actually be able to make this argument. So I hope Bill Belichick doesn't retire anytime soon. I really want to see this play out because over the course of the next four or five years, if Bill Belichick can't bring the Patriots to relevance and he ends up quitting or they let him go, uh, then we'll finally know that it truly was Brady. But if Bill Belichick can actually turn this team and make the Patriots a relevant team, especially now, like when you look at their their team without Brady, they have one of the most depleted receiver cores. Their running backs are okay. Um, they're they let go of quite a few guys on defense, so like they're they're pretty depleted in terms. I mean, they're definitely an average roster. Like there's way worse rosters than them, but they're nowhere near the top ten in terms of just true talent. And it's going to be really really fascinating to see if Bill Belichick can still find success with this team uh, with a quarterback not named Tom Brady. So that's my uh, interesting pondering rant for the day. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree. Uh, if you think that there's never going to be an answer to this question, whatever your take is, hit me up in the comment section. Let's, let's chat about it. No, we're probably all quarantined in our house right now, so lots of time to talk about random things. So join me, and thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button. really supports me a lot. We'll be posting a lot of stuff about the NFL heading, headed into the season, mostly fantasy-related, but we'll do a few videos like this just for the fun of it. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.